A drunk driving suspect who allegedly killed a 27-year-old man in a high-speed car crash in Washington state fled to China before police could arrest her. The suspect, Ting Yi, who is a Chinese national, allegedly was driving at more than 100 miles per hour, 161 kilometers per hour, when crashed her car on September 30. Her passenger, Yobao Lu, was killed when the car skidded off the road and flipped near Bellevue, Washington. Police believe Miss Yi has fled to China, allegedly to avoid prosecution in Mr. Lu's death. Based on the skid marks and evidence left at the scene, the car was going well in excess of 100 miles an hour. Bellevue Police Department's public information officer Seth Tyler told local broadcaster WPD ABC 15. The vehicle hit the barrier there and was actually thrown into the air and hit the side of that bridge where it came to rest. The crash occurred around 3.45 a.m., but first responders were not called to the scene until 45 minutes later when a passerby noticed the wreckage. Both Miss Yi and Mr. Lu had to be pulled from the damaged vehicle. Mr. Lu was pronounced dead at the scene. A first responder was cited in a court document as having said they smelled the strong odor of alcohol coming from Yi. She was transported to Harborview Medical Center but allegedly refused to cooperate with investigators, according to police. The officers said they weren't told Miss Yi had been discharged from the hospital until after she had fled to Canada. Officers were still working on charging documents at the time. We were not notified by hospital personnel. My understanding is that she was not going to be released anytime soon due to her injuries. And so we were under the assumption she was going to remain at the hospital for some time, Mr. Tyler said. Police believe Miss Yi had someone drive her to Vancouver, where she caught a flight back to China. Law enforcement officers are reportedly considering bringing charges against the individual who helped her reach Vancouver. The warrant was not yet in the system. She was at that point not prohibited from leaving the country. And so there was a delay, unfortunately, Officer Tyler said. The warrant wasn't issued until a couple of days later, and then, at that point, she had a court appearance that was scheduled last Tuesday that she did fail to appear for. Both Mr. Liu and Miss Yi were in Washington for work, according to court documents. She has now been charged with vehicular homicide in Mr. Liu's death. Her bail is set at $2 million. We just want to make it clear to Miss Yi that she is wanted for vehicular homicide. We need her to come back to speak with us, Officer Tyler said. She has a warrant in the system. If she ever tries to enter the United States, she's going to be immediately arrested. We need her to just come back, take care of this, so the family of the victim can move on. The Chinese government does not have an extradition agreement with the U.S.